Hello and welcome to the second episode in our Zodiac Circle series. That can only mean one thing, it's Taurus. Taurus is the second sign in the Zodiac, so happy birthday to every Taurian out there. If your birthday falls somewhere between April the 21st and May the 20th, then this is your birthday month. And I say around about those because if your birthday is on the 21st of April or the 20th of May, you may well fall into the cusp where if it's the 21st of April, you may fall into Aries. 20th of May, you may fall into Gemini. And I always say, get a free natal birth chart online. They're very easy to do. You just have to insert your birthday and if you know what time you were born, that would be perfect. Um, and if not, then you'll be able to get an estimate of your birth chart. So you don't need to know what time. It is just more accurate. So happy birthday, Taurus. I've been doing some research about your characteristics, etc. Et and we will be going into those. Also, if Taurus isn't your birth sign, your star sign, your sun sign, they can be known as all of those, <laughs> then you may well have the planetary aspect in your chart anyway. We all have a mix of different signs in our birth chart. So if you have Taurus as your rising sign or your moon sign, then you may well have quite strong characteristics of Taurus too. Right, so all about Taurus. Well, Taurus carries the sign of the bull. So if you want to think about the characteristics, all you need to think is bull. So on the positive, they are steadfast and committed. They are powerful and purposeful. So steadfast, you know. Um, they like to know what's going to happen. Taurians do not like surprises. Taurus is a fixed earth sign. So if you think of earth signs with the steadfastness, they, they take pleasure in material gain and rewards from, from their purposeful activities. So do not surprise a Taurus. They like to have some sort of an inkling of what's going on. <laughs> And that includes good surprises. So, you know, maybe give them a little hint of what's going to happen rather than spring something on them. We will talk about what Taurus like as gifts later in the video. Also, what pets they like, what, um, what occupations they tend to prefer. We'll go into all of this during the video. Now, as you can see, I've started doing this diamond painting. I'm just doing the outside edge at the moment. And when I get into the middle, I will speed up the video on the background bits. So that's the format the video is going to take and I will be dipping in and out of diamond painting and Taurus so that um, we get a cohesive video and I hope that you enjoy it. And if you do, then please do consider subscribing. I do try and upload videos every week, hopefully two a week. That's what I aim for. And um, I'd be very grateful if you could subscribe and ding the notification bell so that you know when I upload. It is always very much appreciated. And I do love hearing from you. I like to know what you're working on too. So do let me know in the comments below. I have got a community tab page so that people can share what 
projects they've got on the go. And if you do want to send me a photo, do so through Facebook and give me permission to share it and I'll pop it on the community tab. This canvas is by Spell Queen. They do offer different sizes of this canvas and this one is a 50 by 50 to give you a good idea. If you've never ordered from Spell Queen before, there is an affiliated link in the description box where you will get 15% off your first purchase. And that's not just one kit, that is your complete first purchase. So have a good look around there. And it is an affiliated link, so I do get a little bit of money back from the company if you follow my link. So thank you if you do so. Right. Back onto Taurus because it's all about Taurus this video. So if you imagine a bull in a field, they are very steadfast, strong, purposeful, have an aim. That is what Taurus are renowned for. Taurus is also a very protective sign. So they will protect their loved ones. And um, they do have quite a, a jealous streak, if provoked. So, um, yeah, watch out for those Taurus horns. <laughs> yeah. So the ambition of a Taurus is, is it's like a focus. So they get a focus and they work towards that purpose. So they plan, as I say, they don't like to have surprises. So they plan a lot and um, it's very strategic. If you think about the occupations that would need planning, strategy, purposeful thinking, um, an end goal to get the lifestyle that a Taurus wants and desires. Good occupations can include banking and accountancy, strategic thinking. However, because Taurus is a fixed earth sign, that means that they also like the creativity aspect of earth. So they are very drawn and connected to the beauty of earth. So therefore, horticulture, gardening can also be a really good occupation for a Taurus. They are very dedicated and with gardening, you need to be dedicated. You need to plot out what your plan would be for the different seasons and then plan it all in for the for the year so and because they like to have that connection to earth the digging in the ground the feel of soil beneath their feet Lots of walking, that's what um, Taurus may enjoy as a hobby as well. Hiking, walking along the earth, not necessarily barefooted. <laughs> um, but yes, that, that con connectivity, perhaps they like to collect things of nature that nature has created, leaves, feathers, Plants, maybe they like to collect plants and bring them on and grow them on from seed. Perhaps they like to spend their time in a greenhouse as part of their hobby. Mowing the lawn, those sorts of things, being in touch with nature feeling connected to the outdoors, perhaps a gamekeeper. 
or a tree feller, although I would have saved with tree felling because they connect with earth. Um, they may not want to cut down nature. As they appreciate it so much. Taurus are very patient and dedicated and they love to create so they're drawn to creative pursuits as well. Perhaps painting, perhaps diamond painting. <laughs> Planning, strategic thinking, and then the completion of projects undertaken in a very patient, dedicated way. Going on to talk a bit about diamond painting, I can see that I have missed a couple of arrows dotted about. So I do have to let you know that I am diamond painting a little bit away from myself. Um, the canvas is a little bit further than what I would normally do it off camera. So I do apologize if you see me missing some of the symbols and you're screaming at the screen. <laughs> I will go back and add those in at some point, obviously. So this part of the picture is a little bull in a grass field here. So the grass is behind the bull, that's his tail there, and his head's here. And then this is the symbol of Taurus. Just in case you can't quite make that out just yet. As I say, this canvas is a 50 by 50, and um, I think it's perfect for these videos because they are nice size segments to do in the time that I allow for each video. But if I was to do it for myself to display on the wall, I think I would go um, a bit bigger to get a little bit more detail in the finish, just so that you know that. Because as we know as diamond painters, the bigger you go, the more detail you get. And if you're watching and you're, you've not ever tried a diamond painting, then give it a go. It really is a beautiful craft, very relaxing, renowned for mindfulness and stress relief. So I hope if you're just watching to hear about your Taurus characteristics, then I hope that we could introduce you to this wonderful craft of ours. Another thing to point out is the fact that because it's a circle and I'm doing a new segment, the video angle is slightly different for this one because I'm trying to keep my symbols fairly upright to me and so I've I've done the camera on a slight angle if you're wondering about that as well. Okay right let's pop those little arrows in that I missed off right at the beginning. So this banner here this is supposed to say Taurus, and that's what I mean about if you go up a size or two, then that detail will show even more than what my canvas does. So we'll fill in this part of the banner, just doing the arrows up at this point. I 
And if you have got Taurus in your chart um, and you enjoy creative pursuits, then do let me know if you like things other than diamond painting. I'd be really interested to know, especially if it's something to do with the earth and about nature. I would find that really interesting to know. So, other occupations, of course, the nature aspect could also bring in floristry. Perhaps you like to arrange flowers. You could do that as an occupation or as a hobby. I mean, wouldn't it be perfect to grow your own flowers and then cut them to arrange in a display for in your home? That would be amazing. That would be so cool. I think I'd be rather jealous of that. <laughs> Um, but yes, floristry, the art of displaying. And then moving away from the earth, thinking about other creative type of occupations. It could be carpentry, you know, joinery, woodworking, things like that, because again, that is still to do with the earth, you know, being wood, a natural material. Moving on to this deep, dark brown. Again, as I said in the Aries video, if you watch that, I'm not doing the whole of the outside of here. I'm literally just doing the segment itself. So if you see me miss bits from the edge, I'm not doing the swirl down here and I'm not doing this outer part either. So if you see me miss that, that is the reason. Why? Because there's enough to do in the segment without all of the outside bit. the little bull now. I think this is the main part of his body down here. You can see his little swirly tail, it's really cute. And this brown is darker than what it is on the canvas, so it might add even more detail being in a darker colour. Right, going back to Taurus, Taurus occupation, Taurus need to feel connected to whatever they do, that it has to have a purpose, they, otherwise their dedication wouldn't really be worth it. So they have to believe in what they're doing, they have to have that passion for it. So another thing that um, would be a good job for a Taurus is caregiving because it's so purposeful. They enjoy that sort of giving. Taurus are very tactile. They enjoy touch. So caregiving, giving out that pleasure to others could be quite important to a Taurus. Also, they like the comfort of touch and being tactile. And it's all about pleasure and rewards. They like the feeling of security. And again, I think that's where the protectiveness would come in if they feel threatened because that security is very, very important. Now, of course, when we talk about the good aspects of Taurus, there are some slight little negatives, which we will address. And of course, as you can imagine, being the sign of the bull, stubbornness. <laughs> However, it's a factor of they can be stubborn because they have a fixed idea. So if they have a plan in mind and it doesn't go to 
quite the way that they expected, then they can dig their heels in a little bit because they're fighting for the outcome that they wanted in the first place. So it's that sort of stubbornness. If they have a fixed idea and they really want it to happen. Right, we're going to move on to these number sevens here. So it's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad as a, a negative trait. Jealousy, because when they when they love somebody, they want to protect them, and it can also create a bit of jealousy. So if that happens with your Taurus, or if you are a Taurus, just remind your loved ones that you're feeling a little bit vulnerable, or, you know, give them a little bit of extra loving while they get through this jealous phase. And then they will settle back down into their lovely earth sign, steadfastness. So the bull, as you can probably imagine from all of that, likes routines, likes to be habitual, doesn't like change, doesn't like surprises, wants to plan. So if you want to go out for the day with a Taurus, give them some notice. Just say, you know, in a little while, shall we? And that's true if you've got a Taurian child as well. Don't just, you know, throw something at them like we're going out now. <laughs> Give them a little bit of notice. In five minutes, we're going to do this and it might just help. It might just help them not get their backs up and dig their heels in and become a little bit stubborn. <laughs> If that helps any parents out there, then I hope it's useful. <laughs> Do let me know. <laughs> now, one, one fact that I found quite interesting in my research, being a Libra, is that Taurus has also got the planet Venus. However, Libra is the daytime Venus and Taurus is known as the nighttime Venus. I thought that was quite interesting. So, harmony, good comfort, lovely foods, fine wines, like the lovely things in life, um, which is very, very similar to um, a Libra. And that all comes from the planetary aspect of Venus. So likes harmony, is patient, likes the beauty, likes the comfort, all of those. Fine wines, mmm. <laughs> So when it comes to gift giving, your Taurian may well like a nice fine wine, perhaps a voucher to go out for a, a lovely meal, as well as a creative type of gift, paints, gardening tools, Also, because of their really good taste, they really love good quality fabrics and textiles. And if you do want to get them anything fabric, like a beautiful scarf, um, 
then try and make it quite textured because again the sumptuousness of a texture in the fabric would really please your Torian. It's got to feel really good though if it's a fabric it's got to have a really you know when you touch a fabric and it feels good it's got to have that aspect to it for a Torian. Perhaps a natural material like a silk or a wool. Because they are all about natural. Beautiful bunch of flowers, perhaps, if they're not growing their own and doing their own displays. A beautiful plant. Things to do with nature. A bird bath, perhaps. A bird feeder. Now, when it comes to pets, <laughs> Taurians do not like fast pets, pets. So you've got to think of slow things when it comes to animals. Perhaps um, a guinea pig. <laughs> things that don't move very quickly. Um, yeah, guinea pig. I was going to say rabbit. Sometimes rabbits can move quite quick, though. So as long as it's a slow rabbit... <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be okay with a slow rabbit um, and if you want to get a dog then make sure it's not you know a whippet <laughs> perhaps something like one of those fluffy little lap dogs you know that they don't do much they just sit and look gorgeous perhaps one of those um, would make a good pet <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Oh, what a beautiful colour we're doing here with this bright orange. Just pulling out some details from the bowl. Can you probably be able to see this detail a lot clearer than I can right now? So I hope that you're enjoying it. I think they're the horns here. Tail, body. I'm going to concentrate on getting the bull finished and then we'll go on to some of the background. So let's do H next, which is a very dark, dark brown. Whoa, very dark. That might again pull some of this detail out. It's like an espresso coffee colour or a very, very expensive chocolate, which your taurines may enjoy liking the finer foods. Having the best in life. course having the best in life means that um, sometimes taurines you have to be careful of your waistline unfortunately you have to keep an eye on it your um, body characteristics short legs are quite common in a taurine a strong neck with big bones so think of the strength of a bull, strong big bones, square face, 
You can have a little upturned nose as well. A strong neck, you do have to be a bit careful about throat infections. And, um, and your waistline because you like the finer foods, finer things in life. So they are the characteristics of your body type. However, if you are a Taurian with really long legs, <laughs> you may well have got those from other aspects in your chart. Because <laughs> don't forget we are a mix. So if you're looking at your legs thinking, well, I'm really tall, then perhaps that's from a different sign. <laughs> okay, let's do the anchor sign next. I believe will be this deep dark purpley colour. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a really dark grape. So, oh, by the way, as well, your birthstone is an emerald, the green emerald. And emeralds are beautiful stones. Um, Colombian emerald is very famous. I think there's been emeralds found in Russia as well. And with an emerald, they all have characteristics from where they were found. I think it's called... Oh, I don't, is it horsehair? Um, I can't remember. There's like, when you look into an emerald, there's always little, they're like strands in an emerald. I think they call it gardenia. Maybe that's it from memory. Um, so the characteristics in the emerald can dictate, as well as the colour, where that emerald was from. Isn't that clever? I think you can get Zambian emerald, Colombian Russian. Right, we'll do capital D next and complete the bull. So I don't think it'll come as any surprise to you that your colours that you tend to gravitate towards are the earth tones. So the greens, the oranges, the yellows. So I don't think that would be a, a massive surprise. Phew, I haven't surprised the Taurian. <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> this is a beautiful red that I'm putting in here now. I'm just wondering, did I move? Hopefully I didn't move the canvas too much, just trying to see, make sure that I've got it on. I may well, if I do pull it more towards me, do forgive me. I'm, you know, as I say, it is in a funny position for me. Um, so I sometimes get inclined to pull it towards me a little bit so I can see, but... Hopefully I'd realise and pull it back into screen for you. I can just see a bit of pink wax there and I use my needle point tweezers from Spell Queen just to get those bits out. They are brilliant tweezers, a really nice weight to them and they did come in the toolkit with the kit and I have to say Spell Queen do one of the best toolkits I've seen with the little storage box etc included. If you haven't seen um, the toolkit, then do watch my unboxing because it's all shown there. Oh, there he is. Not quite a little white bull like the song, but um, <laughs> there we go. I love his tail, really, really cute. And I, I can see some more Fs here that I missed and an H, so I do apologize about that. 
those F's in and I think once I've done these two I'm going to speed up the video and get some of this background in and then we'll come back and talk a bit more about who else, which celebrities are Taurus and let's see if we can find out more information about you. So there we are Taurus, as I complete your birthstone here, which is the emerald, let me tell you that you've also got some healing crystals. If you're into crystal healing and their properties, that will help. I can tell you that the stones that are good for Taurus are coral, agate, carnelian, lapis lazuli and crystal quartz so you may want to look those up to see what the properties are in those that will help you of course emerald is one of those as well wow this is a dark emerald <laughs> And you may be able to see here that we've got some nice flowers depicted here for the earth sign. Compatible star signs for Taurus. Taurus get on really well with a fellow earth sign Capricorn as well as a fire sign Leo. So you may be interested to know that. And lastly, I can tell you that some of the famous people who are celebrity Taurus, Stevie Wonder, he's Taurus, he's really good at piano. Now remember those creative pursuits we talked about earlier, so that's interesting. We also have Barbara Streisand, again creative pursuits in her singing. And Audrey Hepburn, acting, another creative pursuit. Jack Nicholson. <laughs> and two famous ladies, Catherine the Great. And our very own Queen Elizabeth II. All Taurus signs all with strength and perseverance. And that, dear Taurus, is your segment nearly complete. I'm just filling in a few of the missing diamonds that I didn't catch earlier. I've just got one of those bright green zeros. And then I'll be able to show you an overhead view and talk about your segment. Here is your segment from further afield from an overhead view. Hopefully you can see the banner. I can't make out that saying Taurus, but that's what it's supposed to say. <laughs> Here is our lovely bull with the horns and those tips in pink. Just make that zing out and then the Taurus sign here. And then we've got these bright green flashes 
of the field and the earth around that beautiful bull down to this flower detail here and our lovely emerald birthstone. So dear Taurus, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed finding out more about Taurus, the characteristics, likes and dislikes, and I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care. Bye.